So this is GTA 3 RE, which means reverse engineered, and um, you have a ton of features that means um, like things like extra display settings, graphic options. Uh, it's put in a lot of features that were missing in the PC port from the PS2 version, like reflections and stuff. Um, and most importantly, it runs at 60 frames per second and in 4K. So you can actually experience this game in a modern sort of way. You'll sort of see it as I drive around the smoothness of the frame rate. You can also pan the camera around manually, which is a lovely feature added, because before you could only go left, right, or back. Um, and there's just a lot more you'll end up seeing, uh, hopefully throughout this video. Even something like the rain particles right now, that's, uh, that's not in the, well, it's not the same in the original. They look much more updated. But yet again, it is the same base game and that's the most important part so if I was to hit that in the corner there it'd break the glass just like it would in the original game nothing's really changed and it's actually got just as I said a ton more features uh, unfortunately I have to turn that radio off as much as I love it uh, because that radio will get me copyright striked on uh, YouTube oh. Oh. just about made that jump but I've wrecked my car in the process so let's take it for a spin around you and see um, what's going on. And you can really see the um, the frame rate as I drive fast in this banshee. Hopefully my uh, bonnet will blow off. But I don't think so. I have to hit the car. There we go. There we go. So yeah you hear you can get a speed you know an idea for the updated speed of the game well it's the same speed but it's just smooth running at more frames and it just feels much more fluid and natural uh, this is the fastest car in the game so not all cars are this fast um, and I can also show you kind of uh, some things outside of the car so you can turn on cheat menu here with control and M and what we'll do is give myself some weapons and I'll do for now so let's get something out um, like a manual gun and I can take off uh, someone's leg with that one take off the head so yeah it's uh, <laughs> that's the blood screwed at the neck Jesus there's a lot of detail put in this game um, and we can even use a rocket launcher to kind of take everything apart we get some police after us too then get a little police chase on the go uh, just before I do let's change the weather um, oh, I'm in a little bit of trouble there staying still too long Probably shouldn't got the police after me. Right, okay, I need to get away from this police just for one second. Um, and... Sunny weather. I can... Uh, turn it back to daytime. Well, I don't have time to turn it back to daytime, but I need to give myself some health fast. Uh, health, and even some armor quickly while I'm at it. And there's no reason for me not to take a police car. I was just about to anyway, so lucky I crashed. This car will be the one to take. It's early morning right now, so we can change that too. Um, if we come uh, back, we can have uh, the time. 
Okay, I best move because they're gonna arrest me. Ah, no, it's already happened. Busted. <laughs> Just trying to play with the time. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 reverse engineered. Um, let's just do what I was trying to do before I got arrested, which would be to change the time. You can change the time there. So, yeah. Um, we're just seeing a nice little police chase going on at the same time. I can't open that, they're normally locked. But, I think at certain times they're not, so there we go. Oh, are we doing the vigilante? And let's just finish the video off with one little stunt jump, I suppose. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. There it is. Probably need to tempt it from the other side because I uh, built up a bit of speed. And uh, let's give this a go. And that's Grand Theft Auto 3 RE. I'll show you Vice City RE next. And um, if you want to download it yourself, as I said, go to GitHub. And um, it's just GTA 3 Reverse Engineered. But you need to own the original game on Steam, obviously. This is my favourite game of all time. And um, I couldn't be more grateful to the people who did it. They put a lot of hard work in. And it is cool. 60 frames, 4K can't ask for more. A lot of memories of this game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and see you soon.